for yourself was the motivation that caused you, I guess, to be the best drummer you could be, in your opinion? Um, I don't know if it's the struggle, but I think I think that's just like uh, a, a lot of musicians. You know, you're always striving to get better and be better. You know, and you you watch other people play and you're inspired by them, and you know, you just want to take it to the next level. You want to. I mean, especially in this kind of music, you know, the uh, the limits are always being pushed so mm -hmm. far. Like, drummers are just getting faster and faster, and the music's yeah. getting more technical and spastic and bizarre. <laughs> you know, and, and it's always like, you know, kind of like, what can I do now, you know, to really... Push do, the envelope? Yeah, either push the envelope or do something that stands out still, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. extremely fast or not, you know. Um, so I don't, think it's, I don't think it's necessarily the struggle, but... I mean, it definitely pushes you to be a better band. Absolutely, and I think there's something to be said for the motivation for trying to push that envelope and trying to create something in a genre that I guess there's so many people and the fans of it are very um, critical. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, but the thing that I found that was great, the general consensus about, I guess, the drumming on Nocturnal was that they were really pleased with it, fans. And it, I guess when a band um, changes members, a lot of the time the fans are very critical about who gets in, and it's almost like a very exclusive club to the fans. <laughs> and so I guess when you came in, I guess the, the fans accepted you, was there a sense of relief for yourself, knowing that, okay, I've proved myself to the fans, and now I can kind of express myself in the way that I wanted? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I remember when I first joined the band, there was a bunch of kids, uh, you know, like on the drum drum forums online or whatever, you know, and they were just running their mouths like, oh man, I don't know about this kid, blah, 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 you know. Coming from the previous band I was in, because the band I was in before, like I said, didn't require that kind of drumming. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were just like, oh, he can't play death metal, he can't, you know, play fast or whatever. And that's, that's not the case, because this is the kind of music that I love and, you know, like to play. It just so happens that I wasn't in this kind of band before this. Um... So there was, a, there was a, you know, a handful of kids that, you know, said some weird stuff online. And then after the record came out and we toured one or two tours, you know, the kids were like, okay, I take that back. Mm -hmm. You know, so that for That's me cool. was like nice to hear. It was like, well, thanks, you know, like, <laughs> thanks for taking it back. You know, it's definitely like a, you have to go prove yourself kind of thing, you know, because um, they kind of always had decent, you know, good drummers. You know, Black Dollars always had good drummers in the past. And I think... I think the fans were like, let's just, they need to get a good drummer and they need to keep it, you know. And so it was like proving yourself as a, you know, a good enough drummer to them was the first thing and then sticking around was the second thing. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was definitely a big relief. That's great. And so I'm wondering whether like the internet, I guess it's naive not to say that the internet really controls a lot of, I guess, music nowadays and the popularity of what's, what's hot and what's not. And so... But the thing is that it's it's a double-edged sword. It's bittersweet because it can it can be used to promote some great music and great things. But then the fans who because they're behind their like computers and they aren't like in front of the actual artist, they say things that like wouldn't actually they would never say in real life. Yeah. And so I wonder, from your perspective of being in that band and being in I guess in that transparent bubble where you can see out, but a lot of people think I guess have the idea that they you guys can't. And so they're very critical. How is that, com like, for your sense? Like, with you're saying, like, on the drum forums, people would say really nasty things. Mm. Like, how, I, guess, I guess, how does that affect the dynamic of the band? I mean, it doesn't really affect the band. It's, I mean, it's one of those things, like, there's always going to be a critic. There's always going to be some, like, some kid who hates his life and just wants <laughs> to, like, you know, drag other people down. And it's just, mm -hmm. like, you can't let yourself, you know, Believe in that? get caught up on that kind of stuff, you know? Like, you can't, you can't pay attention to it because there's always going to be some naysayer. There's always going to be some punk kid who, you know, thinks he's the best thing that's ever happened to the planet mm. Earth. And, you know, uh, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, he just looks like, a, like an ass to everyone else. You know, <laughs> that's true. Like, you know, that, that's fine. You know, I don't, I don't expect everyone to like what we do or necessarily mm. like my drumming. That's, that's fine. It's, everyone's got a different preference, you know, Absolutely. and they're entitled to it. I mean, I think I think sometimes people should shut their mouth, but with the internet, you know, you can run your mouth all you want, and you know, you can hide in your basement. That's <laughs> yeah, true. that's true. And that's whatever you want to you want to be that kid, then that's fine. You know, mm -hmm. I just think it's a uh, it's pretty childish, but no, nah, it's, it's one of those things. You know, you always gotta like just appreciate who does appreciate you, mm -hmm. and just ignore those people that just want to you know tear the world down. <laughs> that's great. That's great. So. Um, now, 
I understand like the band is really known for I guess its lyrics and the subjects that it talks about. And I remember kind of when the, the screaming genre really became mainstream, a lot of people were like, well, we have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> but now it's become very like um, a normal for mm -hmm. someone to go into the lyrics and find out what the people say and pursue um, the actual words behind the screams. And so how important, I guess, for as a band, it is to have subjects that it expresses. Uh, it's, it's very important. I mean, I think, I think uh, Trevor enunciates his words pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like, I could actually listen to some of the songs and figure out some of the stuff without yeah. having to actually look it up. But, um, yeah, a lot of people look through lyrics, you know, and it's important because if you're singing about something stupid, <laughs> they're going to mm -hmm. know, and it, it really true. takes away from the song. It takes away from the vibe of everything, and then it, you just, you're stuck with this thought in your head of, wow, this song is about something really stupid. Mm -hmm. you know? exactly. Like, I mean, I, yeah. there, are, there are bands that I've heard before, I thought the music was amazing. And as soon as I read the lyrics, I just got bummed out. I was like, this is really? dumb. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like, I can't yeah. get into anything he's singing about because it's just, it's badly written, you know? Um, I don't, it's very important. It's very important. I mean, cause, I mean if, you're, if you're telling a story or whatever, it has to be interesting. That's true. <laughs> That's true. And I think, like, after a while, the, the screaming, <coughs> kind of, like, I guess, mainstream um, appearance, um, it takes a really keen ear to learn, I guess, what people are actually screaming. Because when I started out listening to that sort of music, I had no idea what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But after a while, you kind of pick up certain things and, uh, I guess, learn to understand it. Absolutely. Well, anyways, thanks so much, and I had a really great time talking with you, and uh, hope we get to talk again soon. Cool. Thanks a lot, man.